Welcome to my home studio. This is the hub where I film all my YouTube videos, create short form videos, and handle editing projects for clients or for personal ventures. It's a cozy nine feet by 11 feet space, perfect for a small content creator like myself. So the goal of this video is to inspire you to dive into your own creative projects. When I was setting up this home studio, my initial focus was on choosing the right color scheme. To enhance flexibility, I opted for dynamic dark and light theme, splitting the walls half gray and half white. Let's kick things off by diving into my desk setup. First up is the Vivo Dual Motor Standing Desk Frame, a motorized marvel that can handle up to 275 pounds. What sets it apart is the touch control, boasting a sleek glossy finish with illuminated buttons for that premium minimalistic look. For the desktop, I opted for the IKEA Carlby Walnut Veneer Countertop measuring 74 inches by 25 inches. The goal here is to maximize space, ensuring my work area remains clutter-free. Plus, it aligns perfectly with my dark wooden theme. To complement the setup, I added a desk shelf from Etsy, a budget-friendly alternative to the pricey Grove made. This addition proves handy for keeping frequently used items with easy reach, though I've yet to unlock its full potential. Now, let's talk about the centerpiece, the monitor. I've got a Dell G3223Q, a 32-inch 4K display with 144Hz refresh rate, 10-bit colors and 99% sRGB coverage, perfect for handling client work, and it's mounted on a monitor arm for added flexibility. And also, all the items mentioned in this video will be in the description below. These are my affiliate links to support my channel. As for my keyboard, it's a custom build that I dedicated some time to complete. If you're a fellow keyboard enthusiast, you'll find the specs of this keyboard somewhere around the screen. I've also paired my keyboard with a walnut wrist rest and a sleek gray coiled cable type C to complement the overall gray accent of the setup. Currently, my go-to mouse is the Razer Basilisk Ultimate, but I've got my eye on the Logitech G502X, a potential switch once the budget allows it, or if Logitech decides to sponsor one of my video. For desk accessories, my desk mat is a spacious 47 inch by 20 inch dark gray felt mat. It complements it seamlessly with my desk shelf as it's almost the same length. Adding into that, I've opted for a black aluminum mouse pad from Vadir to ensure optimal mouse performance. Moving on to my audio. These are bookshelf monitor speaker from Edifier. It's the R1700 BT. BT stands for Bluetooth, so you can switch seamlessly between Bluetooth or wired. I've chosen Edifier for their aesthetic appeal, quality, and reasonable price. For my vocals, I use this Leeweed LCT 440 Pure Microphone paired with the M-Audio Solo Audio Interface for singing and recording short covers. For my headset, my trusty durable Audio-Technica M50X. It's been with me for a very, very long time. I think it's almost a decade and I'm gonna use it till it's broken and possibly buy a new one. And if you see this controller, this is for my FPV drone practice. I use the DJI FPV controller too, so someday I can finally fly an FPV without breaking the bank or having a high risk. Adding a touch decor, you'll find mini fake plants, Gojo Senpai, and a wall neon sign. On the side, I've incorporated an IKEA pegboard with containers for my switches and tools. Doubling as both decor and utility for my YouTube videos with some added 1P tube lights. For my PC, this is a custom build featuring Ryzen 5900X with 12 cores and 24 threads for robust performance. Powering the graphics is the Aorus Master RTX 3070, paired with 64GB RAM to handle the demands of 4K editing even with 60fps or 100fps footage. For the case, this is the Lian Li O11 Dynamic Mini mesh case adds to the appeal with its minimal, compact, and sleek design supporting ATX motherboard and optimal airflow. Now, let's talk about storage. I've repurposed a black metal drawer and added Falbo shelf unit for both storage and a stylish background in my setup shots.
For soundproofing and temperature insulation, I've installed sound blankets and thermal curtains from Nice Town, featuring black and white sides for light control and reflections. In addition to that, utilizing a 24 inch by 48 inch sound panels, this was a generous donation from a friend. It enhances sound treatment without permanently fixing them to the wall. For studio decoration includes fake bamboo plant and bonsai. And I love this captivating samurai Gundam. It's called Takeda Shingen and a bunch of humorous tiger figurines scattered around the studio. I've also purchased a light decor. It's the RGB wall lamp from Govi to add more illumination for this home studio. For my camera rig, I'll be making a dedicated video, so stay tuned for that. But if you wanna know a quick specs, I'm using the Sony A7S III together with 35 mm GM lens. For my filming area, it features an IKEA table complemented by a gray felt desk mat for a polished look. A mic stand doubles as a boom arm for my talking head, while the Amaron 100X serves as my main key light. Now, to give my studio a dynamic shot, I use the Ulanzi VL110 RGB tube lights. It adds a subtle yet effective touch to illuminate the background. And also on the side, I added the IKEA Raskig cart. It serves as my main charging station and tools for quick access. In the end, I'll keep evolving my home studio for my needs. And again, all the items mentioned in this video will be in the description below. And I hope this video really sparks inspiration for your own home studio. But remember, not everything has to be expensive. Work with what you have, take on more client work, and save up. Thank you so much for watching up to this point. Please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Comment down below what you have and what you think of my setup. And other than that, until next time, peace out.